Alan sent me this yesterday. He said, look up W.C. Fields and Winston Churchill because I think they're the same person. And I have to agree with him that I think they are. Well, he played Winston Churchill. He's got that mark on his cheek, got the same lips, actually got the same nose. Don't forget, they do things with the hair and above that, they just want their eyes, nose and mouth. See on that one, they've got the same lips and the same marks on their faces. You can tell they've got the same mouths there. And he also played Hoover. He has the same mark in his cheek, because that's the same person as well. So a little bit crazy, oh, there's a bike going past there, sorry, but anyway. Um, it's quite crazy to think that he played Winston, but I already did when Marilyn Monroe played, was played by Diana Dawes. So they pick someone outside the country who's not as famous in their country. But he does look quite uh, like him. You've just got to get her to take the hair away. And the fact they've got different accents, one will have a cigar in his mouth. And so forth, but they are actually quite alike, with the same markings round their cheeks, same lips. I'd never thought of him, but when I showed Alan the markings on their cheeks, he said they go. He thought they were the same person anyway, but I sent him some pictures, and he said they look very alike. I don't think I've got that one quite right with the eyes, but. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, the different stances, you know, one was pointing a little bit more to the left, but hopefully you see that, but let's carry on with the video. Okay, so here's the thing. This is a map picture. Oh, sorry, this is an atlas uh, with a satellite view of the Earth. Um, I'm not quite sure which uh, year it was from, but we all know this uh, famous picture. Was it uh, Apollo uh, 13? Anyway, the problem is this. As I look at this, 
from the North Pole perspective. I then take the globe, North Pole perspective. Now just let me angle that a similar way to what I can see on the floor. So from the North Pole perspective, I cannot see Central America. There is not a chance. Right? I'm really going to have to... Okay, let's uh, go over a little bit more. You see, I've got to go yeah, a fair bit over the North Pole. You can see I'm, t I'm using this as my uh, reference point. Okay, when I'm right above it, I would say I'm right above the North Pole. Agreed? So, looking at this map, we can see so much here of South America. Central America, South America. We've got Cuba here. My question is this, why is it not attainable on a globe as I'm above the North Pole? You'd have to really go over the edge here to be able to get the same. There we're going, there's a, a Venezuela. Anyway, you get the point. Something's not right. This is a flat picture. And this is the globe we're supposed to be living on. It just doesn't seem to make sense. Anyway, this is the Astral Thief, and I'm signing out. I just wanted to do this. <clears throat> very, very simple, very, very quick. Flat Earth for dummies. And it goes like this. Eight inches per mile squared. If you can see further, then you're supposed to be able to see eight inches per mile squared. That equation. This is the curvature of the Earth. If you can see that far ahead, water will always see the, the lowest level. It won't go uphill, it won't curve, it won't form like into a brick or anything. It will always lie flat. <whistles> level. Um, <clears throat> I also have this problem with <laughs> vacuum of space. If you've got a vacuum in space, why do we have an atmosphere? We should be sucked off, surely. I do, folks. That's really it. Yeah. Damn, it's late night last night. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep things out of the garden fence. So, put a bit of fence post up here. These olive, olive posts. Still got to dig some more out of that one. And this one. That's all right. Hey, Erasosthenes. Wow. Is my shadow directly above that hole? Fucking hell. That's not far off, actually. Look at that. That means... What? It's not very long, is it? My pole's a metre above the ground. The sun's almost directly ahead. Almost directly over me. Fucking hell. It's going to come over me in a bit. That's proper local, I tell you. Hmm. I'm going to build a, a sundial at some point. So, um, I've got to get another hole here. Yeah. Just watching a bit of something we've planted. Yeah. Let's have a look at the figs. See how they're doing. Oh, looking nice. Plenty as well. Plenty. Beautiful. Mm. Well, that's one that's going to be ready soon. Keep my eye on you, baby. Yeah. Plenty, plenty. That's good. So, I've got some peppers coming in now. Little peppers. That's also good. Sweet potatoes. A nice little row. And then 